Uh, Eric um, had Riley just addressed the Chris Bosh issue, saying he does not expect Chris back with the Miami Heat. Um, does that make things more definitive for you or easier in that there might not be now necessarily have to be plan A and plan B? And how are you moving forward over Pat's statement that he believes Chris's heat career is over? Uh, you know, this business uh, uh, is, is tough. The personal relationships uh, and uh, the things that happen that, that you can't control. Uh, everybody knows how... Uh, much CB means uh, to me uh, and his family. Uh, I love CB dearly. Um, you know, it was tough uh, uh, to watch uh, CB and his family uh, go through this the last uh, couple years. Um, your heart just goes uh, out to him. Um, and, and CB and I have had a, a different bond, a, a player, coach, uh, CB is always the guy that, that I would go to, um, especially on those championship teams. Um, I, I just really always trusted uh, his, his perspective. Uh, you know, my love for him and, and his family uh, won't change. Um, in terms of does it uh, give it more clarity going into camp, uh, so plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, there's going to continue to be, be those. That's what this profession is. So I, I have clarity of who's going down to the Bahamas for camp. Uh, I'm going to prepare for this group right now uh, but uh, there's going to continue to be changes hopefully not as as uh, big of an impact as, as this but uh, I'll be open-minded uh, to however the course of this uh, team will will change but uh, in terms of my mindset as the head coach of this basketball team uh, the other 19 players that are going to training camp my focus will be on them but that does not take away from my my feeling um, my feelings for CB Spo, just from having this roster to study over the last couple months, things which you like about this team, things which you think this team will do well. Well, I like the fact that we we have some key guys coming back, and I think a lot of people are focusing on um, who's left and who's not here. Uh, but we were able to bring back uh, a very talented young core uh, of players that we think fit uh, the Miami Heat fabric, the type of players that we liked uh, to go to battle with. Uh, we added. Uh, some young, exciting, athletic talent. Uh, we've added shooting uh, to this roster. We've added uh, guys that we think can develop in our system as defenders. Uh, so it's a young, athletic uh, team uh, that I think the fans can feel uh, hope and, and excitement for, but also uh, for our coaching staff. I'm probably as curious as everybody else uh, of, about this team and, and how we can put it together. That's, that's our job to figure that out. Uh, but training camp and preseason will be critical. Uh, this year. There's going to be a lot of evaluation. There's going to be a lot of observation. There's going to be a lot of testing. Uh, I, I can't say uh, right now uh, definitively uh, on how it's going to look. I'll probably be doing more uh, evaluation and observation in this training camp preseason um, than any other training camp that I've had before, uh, at least in, a, in, in the recent um, in our recent history. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's a different challenge. The one thing you can't become uh, in this profession is stale. <laughs> and that's what I love about this profession so much is it's, it, there's new challenges to embark every single year. It's different. Um, this is a, a big challenge. Uh, that's, uh, there are some, uh, some changes, but, uh, we have also some, uh, some things to feel very, um, encouraged about moving forward. Eric, whenever he talked to Goran about running, he becomes a glow as if finally I'm freed maybe from shackles, he, he believed at least. We always hear you coming into seasons and we see you gesticulating on the sidelines. That's sort of what you want also. But could this be sort of the unleashing, maybe without Dwayne's superb half-court game, Chris's superb half-court game, that that might even be more of the direction going forward now? We'll see. Uh, I think it'll be a, a an exciting team uh, for teams or uh, for fans uh, to watch. Um, you know, I, I think the thing about Gorn uh, so much is 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 only made about Gorn and pace of play. Uh, he's become so much more of a player, and I think he proved that uh, during that uh, final stretch run uh, of the regular season and into the playoffs. What he proved is he can be a winning player in the pl playoffs with a big role um, when a lot is expected of him. 
uh, you have to be able to play a lot of different styles uh, in this league. You have to have versatility. And when you get into the playoffs, uh, you have to be able to play multiple styles of basketball. Now, we are going to try to maximize and leverage the strengths of this team. Uh, one of the biggest strengths of Gorn is, is his aggressiveness in the open court. We fully plan on uh, trying to maximize that. Uh, and I'm open-minded to see where uh, the rest of the roster will be in terms of the speed and quickness of play uh, going up the court. Uh, I'm not making any declarations uh, of our pace, but you saw uh, how we played um, those final three months of the season. Uh, you can probably expect something similar to that. Uh, we will not uh, compromise at all the defense, but we think our defense, if it's uh, committed uh, and impactful, can actually help uh, that style of basketball. Coach, what's the what's the next step in your eyes for Hassan on and off the court? You know, in this new role where he's going to be the, a focal point uh, of the offense. Uh, he's shown great uh, perseverance, perseverance, uh, and a chip on his shoulder, and he's had it for so long now that I think that's become who he is. That's a great quality uh, to have that. So I don't think that'll change. It'll just be on to the next challenge. Uh, so he's proven great. Perseverance uh, to work his way back into, into this league, uh, to make it with an organization that values uh, what he brings, um, to be able to really have an impact um, the last two years uh, coming out of nowhere, but then uh, to help uh, a team get back into the playoffs. Um, he's, he's proven that uh, he can put up uh, big numbers. Uh, that you don't see uh, every day. He's proven uh, that he can earn a contract, uh, and it's well-earned and well-deserved uh, this summer. And so now what he can focus on uh, is a clear mind of absolutely just helping a team win. That's what it's all about now. Uh, it's not about uh, a contract anymore. It's not about numbers anymore. It's about winning. Uh, he's starting to embrace that uh, and understand that uh, more and more each day, uh, and that's by... His, his example uh, now uh, every day uh, and his approach uh, to the work uh, and, and proving uh, to the other guys in the locker room how important this is to him to help a team win uh, and to be able to grow into that role. That, that saying that uh, to uh, much is given, more is required. He's really understanding what that means. When the other, his other teammates walk in the building now, they're looking for Hassan Whiteside. They're looking to see his approach, his consistency, uh, his uh, desire uh, to help a team win. That's really where leadership starts. Uh, and then you can become a vocal leader um, and grow uh, as our past leaders have done uh, on championship teams before. Um, but he's, he's learning what those first steps are, uh, and that's by an example, um, by taking more responsibility um, as people are, are watching him um, and, and how, uh, how he leads us by example.